My name is Suyash and I am a Masters in Human Computer Interaction student at Georgia Institute of Technology. And today I'm going to talk about our work on exploiting the slowness of electrochromic displays. So let's dig right in. Our agenda of this presentation is to give a brief overview of electrochromic displays and our purpose for me working on this topic, followed by the fabrication setup that we used and ultimately going to the interesting behaviors that we explored. Our entire research is focused on making these beautiful electrochromic displays and studying their behavior. We looked at various patterns and tried to converge at design guidelines to develop prototypes of a desired behavior. These guidelines could be used by any designer with simple craft tools to replicate our prototypes. Electrochromic ink is a specialized formulation that changes color on the visible spectrum when voltage is applied across it. We use P.PSS as an electrochromic ink. All our prototypes have been arranged in the coplanar arrangement. It means there are two traces of P.PSS on the same PET substrate with an electrolyte acting as a bridge between the P.PSS traces. The electrochromic displays are very easy to use. They have three states that they can switch between. When no voltage is applied, no P.PSS pattern is visible. When 1.5 volts is applied, one of the P.PSS traces becomes visible. When the voltage applied is reversed, the active trace also switches. This functionality of the electrochromic displays makes them easy to use and implement. Our design exploration centers around how different forms of slowness could be rendered through a closer look into the transitive states of electrochromic materials. We focus on the notion of traces, continuity, and absence of data along with techniques for utilizing electrochromic materials for such slow behaviors. With these techniques and design opportunities, the paper discusses how material slowness can be leveraged to promote a seamless integration of variable products with the human body. Now let's take a look at the fabrication setup that we used. All the equipment we used are daily craft tools that any designer can get access to. The overview of our process includes material preparation followed by printing and heat curing and then cutting and assembling the prototype. In order to improve the wettability of the PET substrate, we covered it with an anti-fog spray. Once the material was ready, we printed out the desired design using the Epson WF2860 inkjet printer. We did multiple passes of printing for higher display contrast. After printing, we cured the prototype in a toaster oven at 100 degrees Celsius and ultimately assembled the prototype. Now let's take a look at how we can express the slowness of electrochromic displays. The geometric configuration that you can see here governs the conductivity between display segments to the thickness and length of interconnects. So designers can change the interconnect dimensions to make the displays transition at a particular speed. The shade configuration utilizes inkjet printing to create planar interconnects with low density. In this primitive, the opacity of the interconnect governs the display transition behavior. The composite configuration describes display textures themselves containing variable conductivity across the surface instead of having separate interconnects. Specific patterns like the one shown here can vary the PRPS's conductivity across the trace. This helps us achieve a particular transition behavior. Now let's take a look at the different behaviors that the previously discussed design primitives can afford. The gradual transition behavior informs designs where immediate attention may not be necessary but slow realization is appropriate. Spatial and temporal fuzziness is achieved by targeting voltage at different parts of weakly connected segments resulting in varying specificity in where the stimulus is coming from. This can help create displays that show information in a spatially encoded format. Transient suspension occurs when weak PSS connections create short-lived visuals that gradually fade away once the voltage applied is removed. The encoded information starts to decay as soon as the applied voltage is removed, thus emphasizing the impermanence of the information that is shown. Here, we can see a few examples that we explored. The location of the prototype on the body plays a significant role in choosing one of the desired behaviors we mentioned previously. For example, a, fin a fictional body tag concept where private medical information is only shown to medical personnel. In this situation, a transient suspension behavior would be helpful to keep the information private and accessible to the right people. To conclude our presentation, I would like to thank my team 
for their contribution and great work. Here we have attempted at uncovering a view on electrochromic materials through the lens of printing traces, their continuity, and also explored how can designers exploit these amazing natural properties of electrochromic inks. Thank you.